Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is where I talk about celestial transits that affect us all zodiac signs. This is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between October 5th and 12th, 2019. So generally speaking, we are in a week that we could feel the energy is intensifying as we are heading into a full moon next week in Aries. And up to that time, energies may intensify for good or ill. We'll need to be more in emotional control and in control of our emotions. The easy and more challenging days of this week are Saturday and Sunday, afternoon time, Eastern European time are more challenging, and Friday, afternoon time onwards, and Saturday at the end of the week, the 11th and the 12th. The rest of the days have a much more pleasant, calm energy to them. So let's see how the transits of the week fall into the days. On the 5th, Saturday, we have Moon square Chiron and besieged between Saturn and Pluto. It's an intense time emotionally, a time that, we, that could be characterized by more cold-hearted, scrutinizing judgments also towards ourselves and towards others we could be more obsessive regarding our thoughts and ideas and needs and make a drama out of it so watch that uh, other than that monday the seventh still a sensitive day for relationships watch your communication think about the implications of that communication uh, 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 afterwards and be tolerant be careful not to lash out as there are squares from the moon to mercury and uranus and venus on that day mercury we will be opposing uranus exactly on the seventh and that's a time that we could really feel like there's malfunctions in communications or breakthroughs in communications it's a time that we need to slow down a little bit and make things clear a bit like we're having a Mercury retrograde. The Sun is also going to be squaring Saturn on that day. And every time we have a Sun square Saturn, these are days that, you know, things matter. We need to be more responsible. We need to be more mature about our personal manifestation. And uh, whatever our personal manifestation, Sun, may be along these days, it will have strategic implications, Saturn, on us. And it may be challenging as this is a square. Tuesday, Venus is heading into Scorpio, making us all more intensive and immersive regarding our economies, our income, and our relationships. Our need for satisfaction from this life from our relationships, from our income, from our relationship with our five senses in the material world. And on Wednesday, the 9th, we have the moon uh, trining Venus in the evening time. Great day, a great evening to go out with someone you love. Tuesday, the 10th, beautiful harmonies in the skies. There's a sextile uh, to Uranus from the moon and a trine to Mercury. It's a good day to think outside the box and allow yourself to adapt new ways of communication. And Friday is also good for progressing strategic matters or uh, anything concerning with your career. Uh, it's also a good day to be involved in any artistic um, or a spiritual or outside activity as the moon is conjunct Neptune and squaring Jupiter in Pisces. The moon is going to be in Pisces all through Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday the 12th is much more uh, tender and, and, and we have to be more careful with it as the moon is conjunct Chiron. It's a good day for healing and getting hurt. And it opposes Mars, the god of war. So be careful from your own agitation and aggression on that day. 
I want to remind everybody that uh, in about a month's time, three weeks' time, I'm starting my beginner and intermediate webinar group. So if you want to study with me, please contact me. You have all the details at the end of the slide. I'm sending you a lot of love and light and courage at these very important times. May you live long and prosper. Bye-bye.